Welcome everybody to tutorial number nine. On this tutorial, we're just going to create a simple heat exchanger. Um, uh, we're gonna custom create it, and uh, that's it's gonna be a short one, hopefully. And on the next one, uh, I'm going to show you how to add two little um, support system for that heat exchanger, and uh, hopefully also how to add your uh, heat exchanger as a uh, as a uh, equipment into your system or your drawing. So let's get started. So um, everybody should have this structure going on right now, including the pipes and the tank. Uh, first thing we're going to do: make sure that we're actually on our right layer. So from the Home tab, go to Layers from the drop-down menu. Let's choose Equipments. Perfect. And now what we're going to do: just select only your uh, the grid and under again home ribbon and visibility go ahead and click on hide others perfect make sure that your uh, user defined coordinate system is actually 500 millimeter above the ground so the second point of your grid horizontally uh, sorry vertically speaking uh, because we're going to need that so let's go ahead and click on the top here or you can also choose that from uh, from from right here uh, you can click on the custom view because if you have moved it it should say custom view and you can choose top okay so first thing we're going to do is go back to the home tab and under equipments we're going to create uh, a new equipment by clicking on this button so for you guys, you should be uh, just MTR on something else. So I'm going to walk you step by step how to create a heat exchanger. Uh, it's not the same heat exchanger as we're going to use for our actual project, but it's nonetheless, it's just an example. So go on this drop down menu and let's go to heat exchangers. And under heat exchanger, uh, choose new horizontal heat exchanger. Now for me, bunch of stuff shows up on shape. Uh, for you, if it shows up on shape anything, these are showing up because I've already done it once. Uh, so go ahead and just remove them all. I'm going to walk you through how to do it step by step. So you should all, you, all of you should be on this page right now under heat exchanger and uh, nothing under the shape. So go ahead and click on the add button. First thing we're going to choose is a Tory Spirit head and they're going we're going to add five cylinders one two three four five and we're going to close off with another Tory Spirit kit now um, you would see once we actually draw that how um, this sequence uh, plays out I will talk about it then so now we need to change and define all the dimensions so for the Tory Spirit Cat, select the very first one and let's change the diameter to 500. Don't worry, I'm going to give you um, all the all the dimensions again in the in the in the screen later on as well, so you can pause and and, and, and make sure you enter the right one. And so for the first cylinder, uh, my diameter is going to be 500, and my length or height here because it's horizontal will be 400 cylinder 2 we are gonna have a diameter of 600 and a length of only 100 and the middle cylinder we are gonna have a diameter of 500 and a length of 4500 so 4500 millimeter and then the next cylinder we are going to have a diameter of 600 and a height of 100 and the very last one again diameter of 500 let's make the length as 400 and last but not least unit number seven is a toy spirit head let's make the diameter 500 now uh, once you have done these these are all the seven little shapes here here um, I have brought up the Excel spreadsheet again so go ahead and pause it now okay 
so now that you have uh, gotten all those dimensions ready let's go back to our little creative equipment uh, what do you call window and under the general go ahead and click on tag and we're going to assign the number one press enter and the elevation we're going to uh, enter as 1000 millimeter that means uh, from our first uh, platform it should be 1000 millimeter um, in the air so go ahead and click create now uh, approximately put it just where I am putting it right now doesn't really matter exact location but just try to do it as much uh, close to it. okay so that's good enough and the rotation will keep it at zero degrees press enter or right sorry left click again that should be it okay let's take a look now how it looks okay let's go back to SW isometric view and we'll select our orbiter uh, here is a problem I can see so for some reason AutoCAD is thinking I'm talking from the bottom but I'm not even though my user defined uh, coordinate system is there so all we're going to do is we're going to select our little little um, what do you call heat exchanger and start typing move then it's going to ask you to specify a base point I'm going to specify that one and take it to that one now let's select our Oh, there we go select our little thing again uh, hit exchanger and if you don't have this properties window just start typing properties and open this window and let's see what it says on uh, its um, elevation okay see this is the this is this is the problem here uh, it still sends 500 uh, but we know that it's not uh, AutoCAD sometimes acts up. So for now, that's all we're going to do. Uh, let's show all so we can see where it's exactly situated. So you guys can use it as a reference. As you can see, it's kind of floating in the air. On the next video, we're going to create two little support systems for it, um, really two boxes so it can hold it up. Um, either the manufacturer of that of that little heat exchanger would uh, provide you guys with the design of a support system or you will have a structural engineer uh, doing it so okay that's all for uh, this video I will see you guys next time